When it comes to the word flanker in the fragrance world and the fragrance game, a couple things come to mind. Cash cows, money grabs, and oftentimes that is the case. However, there are exceptions to this rule, and I'm going to share with you five of those exceptions. Five great flankers that, for the most part, people will ask and even argue are much better than the original fragrance that they came after. You guys want to know what they are? Stick around. It's go time. Welcome back to another video, Max here. You guys know it, you wanna make a great first impression. Smelling good is a great way to do that. So if you do enjoy this channel, leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell so you get these videos straight into your feed. Today, the topic here is flankers that are better than the originals. I'm gonna kick things off here with the Azaro Pour Homme Wild Mint. Now this is a fragrance that came out a few years ago, I'm gonna say 2019. And this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy the original, which I do, this probably is beastly on these fragrances, it's going to retain a little bit of that fougere vibe that you get with the original Zaro, but this fragrance has a synthetic note of calypsone, which added this sea-like and blue vibe to the scent with a gorgeous mint up top. It's very minty, it's very refreshing, very uplifting. And here's the deal, guys. Very good performance that you can get for less than 40 bucks. I would highly suggest if you're looking for something great for springtime, for summertime up ahead, I think this is a great choice. You're gonna smell great, you're gonna pull compliments, and you're gonna feel great because this is one of those fragrances that put a smile on your face. And to be honest with you, even though I love the original, a lot of people will think that fragrance is a little bit dated, and if you get the current formulation now, it's nothing like the original at Zara used to be. So this is a great flanker that I highly suggest you guys get your nose on. It is true when you look at Tadia Ahmed's original as being one of the most groundbreaking fragrances in the designer game over the past 15 plus years. That burnt orange with that beautiful earthy vetiver smoky that you get with that fragrance is uncanny and absolutely incredible. However, this one here, and of course there's a new flanker that I haven't yet gotten my nose on called Ogi Vred that I'm really curious about. But today we're gonna actually talk about this one that doesn't get much talks and I think it's a great choice for again, spring and summer up ahead, this is a perfect flanker. This is Terre d'Hermès Eau Très Fraîche, which is extremely, as the name implies, very refreshing. It's a beautiful, earthy, refreshing. The grapefruit up top is just absolutely incredible. There's geranium here, there's no mint, but the geranium gives the fragrance off a very nice, refreshing, effervescent, almost minty vibe to the fragrance. You got some woods in the base. Of course, the vetiver is here. Everything is very tamed and well-rounded but that freshness that you get with the citruses, the grapefruit, and the geranium is really what makes this fragrance a standout and just a great flanker for the warm season. Check this out. Next up, we have a newish release, which is, I think, a great job. Now, you have to understand, a lot of people think this is a flanker of Dracar Noir from 1981 or 1982, if I'm not mistaken, but the truth of the matter is Dracar was originally released in 1972, and since then, there has been other flankers, such as Essence, I think 2014, uh, Dynamic, which was 1999. So a lot of people missed out on those flankers, but this here is actually a flanker, not of the Noir, but of the original Dracar from 1972. I'm talking about Dracar Intense. This is a great take on that Fougere Essence that I talked about just a few minutes ago on that Azaro. It's still in that same vein, that Fougere, the lavender, the green notes. But what I love about this one, it's added a very spicy, boozy accord up top and a gorgeous suede leather in the base. It's a great scent that you can potentially get away with all year round, provided you control the sprayers. You're gonna smell great, you're gonna really commend attention. It's one of those commending attention scents. It's gonna walk you into a room, people are gonna turn heads. Most likely they're gonna ask you, what are you wearing? Because it's one of those scents, guys. I love this stuff. One of the best flankers around, one of the best releases over the last year. And I highly suggest, guys, you can find this very affordable at discounters. FragranceBuy.ca is the go-to place for me, and I think you guys should check it out. Check out the Rare Gems tab, the uh, new releases. There's always great stuff for a lot of affordability, customer service like no one. FragranceBuy.ca, you can find this just like I did. And like I said, this is a mind-blowing flanker that you definitely get, gotta get your nose on. Next up, this flanker here, guys, perfection when it comes to a gourmandy, woody, spicy kind of a fragrance. The original 1989, Yope Ohm, a lot of people may say it's a vanilla bomb, synthetic, hard to wear, way too sweet. I get that. But if you want something that's really well-rounded, it's got a gorgeous note of honey in it. And to be honest with you, in a span of two years, Yope announced another flanker, which is the Lip Parfum version, which I haven't yet tried, but I can't wait to try and share with you guys. But this is the one from last year, the Eau de Parfum. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is no cash cow or money grab type of scent. This is a great scent, long-lasting, powerful I got this a little past uh, the cold season this year, so I'm really gonna look forward to wearing this this coming fall because it's just, if you took Armani Cold Profumo, 
what Jean from Parfums de Marley, um, Stronger With You by Armani. You combine all those fragrances and you add a really nice chestnut, honey, and almost boozy whiskey note. That's what you're gonna get here. An amazing scent. You got vanilla, you got lavender, you got these nutty gourmandy components that I talked about. It's long lasting, it's crowd pleasing. It's got a little bit of the DNA from the original, but it's way in the back. This is a very nice modernized version of this particular, you know, Yope scent DNA, if you will. Love this stuff. Like I said, highly recommend you guys checking out. Honey is a note that I'm really getting uh, to love more and more. And this one has a gorgeous note in the heart into the dry down. It's just absolutely great stuff. You can find this not as easy in America, but I think it's going to really start to pop in discounters very soon. So look out for this one. I got this in Europe, but you'll be able to pick this up very soon. I guarantee you. Next up, this one here was an exclusive to the Middle Eastern market. You can actually find this at discounters at this point. The time I'm filming this, it's available now. So if you want to get it, go grab it because it's not that easy to find. But in my opinion, the best flanker from this lineup of fragrances, which up to this point, when I, before I picked this one up, the original was my favorite. I'm talking about the Armani Importer Armani collection, Stronger With You. This is the leather um, flanker, which came out, I believe, in 2019, exclusive to the Middle Eastern. And I picked it up at fragranceby.ca. And this is a beast of a fragrance. I love the performance, but most importantly, again, when you spray it off, it's gonna give you a nice rum, boozy chestnut, uh, nutty kind of a feel. And as the, the fragrance develops, the warmth of the amber, along with the uh, gorgeous leather that it has, it has a, just a beautiful, enveloping, just perfect leather note here that's a little bit incensey. There's a little bit of a resin here with Elemi. I love this stuff, guys. I think it's the best one. Performance-wise, the whole line is pretty good, but this one here just takes it up a few notches, and the scent itself, to me, is the best one. I love this leather boozy fast that it gives me with the ambery sweetness. It is just absolutely heavenly. Highly suggest you guys checking this one out. In my opinion, the best one, the stronger with you. If you like these gourmandy, ambery type scents, this one, guys, a must. By the way, you guys know if you want to try any of the five fragrances I just talked to you about and many others, thousands of indie designer niche, check out perfume.com. I tell you guys the best experience when it comes to decant sampling, there's, there's second to none. It's that simple. All the perks, all the things that they do for you guys because they're fragrance lovers like us. Check details below, codes, uh, the crew. If you join the crew, you're going to get perks every month. Codes not only for perfume, but also for, for fragrance by that state and free bottle giveaways every month. Check out details, keeping you guys in the know. And as always, guys, if you appreciate the channel, you want to see more of these flanker videos, part two, part three. I have a ton of great flankers to share with you. Just show me that you like, leave a like. If this video hits 500 or more, part two will be coming on its way. As always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thanks for hanging out with me. Leave your comments below. Let me know some suggestions, ideas, and other flankers that you guys love better than the OG. I'll catch you guys next one. Take care.